So what I'd have you do first for thoracic outlet syndrome, which can cause tingling or numbness in your hand, I'm gonna assume it's the right hand, so we're gonna treat the right side, is I'd have you stretch out the muscles, some of these muscles called the scalenes through the front of the neck. Your nerve and blood supply uh, passes between the two scalene muscles, the anterior and uh, medial heads here. So what I'm gonna have you just take your fingertips, you're gonna put them right on top of your collarbone like so. You're gonna turn your head 45 degrees, this direction here, to your right, you're gonna tip your head back as far as you can go. Hold that collarbone down, that's the anchor we want. And you'll start to feel a big stretch through the front of your neck. Now once you get to that point where your head's tipped back, you're then gonna jet your chin forward up toward the ceiling in order to accentuate that stretch. You're gonna hold that for 30 seconds. Now it's really important that you anchor down here because this is the other end of the muscle. So you need to hold that static and solid while you stretch this direction. So the other stretch for the scaling muscles that a lot of people like is to again, take those fingertips, put them on top, top of the collarbone. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slowly turn my head as far as I can to the left to stretch the right side. So I'm anchoring it down here, slowly turning as far as I can. I'm gonna hold that for 10 seconds, then come back to the center again, do it again, repeat that three times. What you'll feel is a different type of stretch to the scaling muscles, it tends to hit the lower part of the scaling here where it attaches to the first rib a little bit more. So that's how you wanna get these scalings released. Now that you've released the front neck muscles, the next thing we're gonna do is open up the upper chest. This muscle called the pectoralis minor can also pinch the nerve and blood supply that runs down into your hand, especially if you have a tendency to roll the shoulder forward and this muscle shortened over time. So what we want to do, the easiest way to do this really, is to use a door jam. So what you can do is use the lower part of your forearm, the flat part, put it against the door jam like so. You want your upper arm here to be at least parallel to the ground, if not up, at about a 45 degree angle. This gets the pec minor to stretch better. Now, if you've got shoulder issues, this might be difficult for you. you can always lower your arm down or just simply use your hand against the door jam and lean in as I'm going to show you in order to stretch it until the shoulder starts to open up. But ideally from this position here, what I'm going to do is then square my shoulders and my hips off so that I'm facing straight forward. From this position, I'm going to step with the same side foot as the hand that's in the door jam. So my right foot comes forward. I'm going to slowly lean forward keeping my shoulders square, my hips square, and start to shift my weight onto that front leg until I feel a good stretch through the upper chest here. Now I'm gonna hold this for about 30 seconds. What I want you to do is breathe into any area that feels tight there. And with the out breath, try and imagine that area letting go, loosening, and relaxing. So you're gonna do that for 30 seconds. And then what I'd have you do is twist your shoulders so that you're going a little more to the left here. This will accentuate the stretch and bring it a little deeper into that pec minor. You're gonna hold this for about another 10 seconds and then you'll release and you're done. 